So, did anyone catch the Grammys? <laughs> Complete with drag queens, transsexuals, fornicators, adulterers, and this performance by the now non-binary Sam Smith, accurately titled Unholy. Cozy and atmospheric, if you're Satan, well, at least there wasn't any child indoctrination. Here to rock our faces off with Broken Horses from her Grammy-nominated album, In These Silent Days, my wife and their mama, Randy Carlo! Ah, the whole event, by the way, was sponsored by Pfizer. No, really. The 65th Grammy Awards is sponsored by Pfizer. We also had an appearance from Madonna, who showed up with a brand new face, supposed to make her look younger. Instead, it made her look like a cross between the recently installed, weirdly demonic statue of Ruth Bader Ginsburg and one of those people that think they're a cat. You know how people get wiser with age. Yeah, this hasn't happened here. For some reason, Madonna is also preoccupied with mocking Christ at every opportunity. The most recent example of this is her photo shoot with Vanity Fair. But let's be honest, it isn't just the Grammys and the music industry which have sunk so low they can almost smell Lucifer's breath. It's the culture as a whole. It's in your comics, it's in your movies, it's in your sports, it's even in your children's TV shows and churches. Perhaps the Church of England would be taken a bit more seriously if they didn't have people on their general synod that look like Jimmy Savile in a pink suit and wig. We live in a world where Bruce Jenner can surgically transition into Caitlyn Jenner, and Ellen Page can surgically transition into Elliot Page, and Eddie Izzard can keep his male genitalia and remain Eddie Izzard. Slap on a bit of makeup and demand to be referred to as a she. My next guest is an Emmy winner and Tony nominee who has performed in four different languages in over 45 countries. She now stars in a solo stage production of Great Expectations here in New York. Please welcome back to The Late Show, Eddie Izzard. <laughs> We live in a world where babies are taken to highly sexualized drag shows. We have a Catholic president in one of the most powerful nations of the world who vehemently supports abortion and the rights of people to tell God he made a mistake and mutilate themselves. Do you think states should have a right to ban gender-affirming health care? I don't think any state or anybody should have the right to do that. As a moral question and as a legal question. I just think it's wrong. We live in a world where news agencies tell their staff they can no longer refer to children in the womb as having heartbeats, but rather cardiac activity, making them less human and easier to abort. One thing's for sure, there's a culture war on and the dark side is having a ball. Boom!